going to take a look at a problem. In this problem, I need to find the minimum distance from a point on the graph of y equals e to the x from the origin. And so, as usual, I want to minimize a function here. Uh, and the function is going to be a distance. So if you think about it, that distance is going to be from a point with the coordinates x, comma, y back to the origin, which has coordinates of 0, 0. Um, so I'm going to call this, uh, I'll call this d of x. It's a distance that I'm trying to minimize. And I can use the distance formula. So that's y2 minus y1, so that's y minus 0 squared. Okay, remember that uh, other point is 0, 0, plus x2 minus x1, and the x-coordinate of the origin, of course, is 0 as well, squared. And I can do a little simplifying here. d of x is equal to the square root of y squared plus x squared. I may want to write that as this value taken to the 1 half power. It would be easier to take a derivative of. And the other thing that I need to do here is I need to make sure this is written in terms of one variable. All right. Well, this time I don't need any kind of restriction equation. I know that y is equal to e to the x. And be careful when you substitute that in. That e to the x is being squared. So that is e to the 2x plus x squared, all raised to the 1 half power. And once again, if I want to find the minimum value of this function, the minimum value is going to take place where the derivative is equal to 0. And so I will go in and find the derivative. d prime of x is equal to, um, I needed to follow the product, sorry, the power rule here. I'm going to have 1 half inside function does not change. And remember, you drop your power by 1, so it's going to be to the negative 1 half power times the derivative of the inside function, which in this case is going to be 2 e to the 2x plus 2x. Um, you can write this in various different forms. Remember that the minimum is going to occur where my derivative is equal to zero. I'm going to rewrite this as one half times two e to the two x plus two x all over e to the two x plus x squared raised to the positive one-half power. I'm going to write it in fractional form here. Um, notice that I could factor a 2 out of both of these values, which would cancel with the 2 in that one-half. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel all of that. Um, and at this point, I end up knowing that e to the 2x plus x over e to the 2x plus x squared raised to the one-half power is equal to zero. Well, that's going to be equal to zero when the denominator is equal to zero. So I need to find out what's going to make that numerator equal to zero. That's e to the 2x plus x equals zero. And actually, this is, uh, you can try to write this in log form. It's not going to work. This is a case where you just need to go to the calculator and solve this. And I've already got everything on the same side of the equation here. So I'll go to my calculator, and I'll type in my e to the 2x plus x. And I want to go to calculate, and I want to find a 0 here. So anyway, I need to go to my left bound and my right bound. And in this case, x is approximately negative 0.426. And that is my value of x that minimizes that function. So again, figure out where that derivative is equal to zero and 
that is the key to figuring out where the minimum value of your function takes place.